In this video, I'll cover record mode. So we double click the record button to drop into record mode. Now we can record all pitch and time parameters in real time. Here I just recorded some notes. So I can record all parameters, including notes, octave settings, accents, slides, mod envelope triggers, slide time, gate time, and filter CV offsets. Record mode works as record replace, so every time a pattern loops, the notes and other parameters can be overwritten. For example, here I'll change uh, some of the accent slide and transpose settings. Here I replace one note. Here I'm re-recording some of the octave settings for some of the notes. Now I'll record some accents. I can add modulation envelope triggers by pressing pitch plus the envelope button. Here I'll record slide times by pressing pitch plus section in buttons 1 through 4. Button 1 being the shortest and button 4 being the longest slide time. Here I'll record all slides by holding the slide button for the entire loop. Now you can also undo parameters such as accent slides and mod envelope triggers by pressing pitch plus function plus the parameter. Here I'm erasing some slides and accents. Now I'm recording some octave settings. So here I'll back out of record mode. And uh, we can edit the pattern in one of the other modes if you wanted to. Here I'll do some editing in normal mode. Now I'll go back into record mode and change the slide times. I'll delete all the slides by pressing function plus pitch plus slide for the entire pattern length. Next, I'll live record from an external controller. I'll do function plus clear to clear the pattern. Start the sequencer. To drop in record mode again, I'm going to double click record. So now I've recorded the C major scale directly into the machine. Now just like in MIDI play mode, you overlap notes to record slides and play uh, with more velocity to record accents. Now I'll record some slides.
modulation envelope triggers can also be recorded directly into a pattern uh, using MIDI CC80. Okay, I'll record a pattern again. Now I'll drop out of record mode as the pattern's now recorded. Now if you wanted to go back and edit only a section of the pattern, or a few steps of the pattern, you can press and hold the record button while making any changes in real time. Alright, that does it for record mode.